I'm doing it. Oh my God, I hope. Okay, that'd be really weird if we found out that I had siblings that I didn't okay. know of. Got a package. Look what came in, Dad. Is it a camera? Is it a charger? Is it food? 23 and Me. That's my dad. Can you tell that's my dad? Today I've partnered up with 23 and Me to take a DNA test and find out what my ethnicity is. As someone who can pass for different ethnicities and has ancestors from different countries, that is a question I have frequently been asked my entire life. What are you? Where are you from? Most people find that question to be annoying, but I actually enjoy it because I think that I am where I come from. I'm gonna figure out my ancestry from like a hundred, hundreds of years ago, generations ago. So I'm gonna take should it over I, to should Nana's. Should I finish my meal first before we open this up or what? I'm gonna take it to Nana's and show her. Okay, that's good. Yeah, if we're gonna like some Dungeness crab, you think I should take some crabs? And some live crab. They're right outside in the cooler, just outside there. Take a look. Live crab? Yeah. It's Dungeness crab season. We ate some of that crab last night. Cooking crab is just, it's not fun to watch because the way that you cook it is you boil them alive. Okay, for all of you PETA members and vegans for the animals, I'm really sorry. It's crab season! <laughs> Will loves playing musical beds. He's in my room now. I walked in and he just goes, <laughs> Kid goes to bed at like five or six in the morning. That's why he has to play musical chairs all afternoon because everyone's up and about and like everyone's talking really loud, using the vacuum, cleaning, doing daytime things. Dad, where are you? You're sleeping. <laughs> oh, I want to go up the stairs. I got up from going fishing and I'm tired. You are clean up. Your bed is not occupied anymore. So today we oh. find out what my ethnicity is. Well, I don't find out today, but I'm sending in DNA tests to figure out where I'm actually from in terms of my bloodline. As you can see, my dad is the white side. Hey mom, what are you doing in here? Cleaning. Mom, how clean does it have to be? Perfect, spotless. When you do that, there's no dust. You gotta clean every corner and see if there's dust. See? That means it's not oh. clean. If you want to do a good cleaning job, you have to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Mom taught me well. I hope so. You've made just living with people a living hell for me because <laughs> no one can be as clean as my parents. You've my given me some too. cleaning OCD issues that I have to live with for the rest of my life. My mother taught me too. Mom. And dad too. Dad's really organized and clean for a guy. That's why. That's why you guys can live first, together. <laughs> when I first met him, I went to his bedroom. Like his bed was all made and you can throw a quarter and it will bounce. <laughs> then that was the rest of the history. I have never seen his bed. <laughs> Do what, do you have time. to make it too? Then I have to make it for him all the time because he won't do it. Mm -hmm. But he'll do it when I'm gone though. <laughs> knows you'll do it so he doesn't do it when you're here. I had a conversation with my boyfriend the other day and I was making the bed and I was like, can you please make the bed every once in a while? And he just flat out said to me, this is something I'm not gonna compromise on you with. <laughs> Tell everyone. Cover your bed, cover it, looks nice. At least you did something for that day. It's the one positive thing you did in that day. You wake up, you haven't done anything. At least you did your bed. Will doesn't do his bed. Mm -hmm. That's why you're doing it for him right now. That's the Filipino in her. Your room can be tidy, but it could be dirty. It's better be clean than tidy, rather than tidy, but dirty. Clean versus tidy, tidy versus dirty. Which one is good? clean versus tidy. better to just be clean and tidy and neat? Well, you're lacking the tidiness, Amy. You're clean, but lacking a little time. I know. 23 and Me comes from the fact that human DNA is organized into 23 pairs of chromosomes. When I get the results back from this test, I'll be able to see regions of where my ancestors come from. These results can even show me how my DNA influences my facial features, hair color, my taste preferences, or even preference for sweet or salty foods inherited by either grandparent, sleep quality, and a ton of other awesome and random cool things that you would never really think about. So what I know for certain is that my mother's from the Philippines and my father has Croatian and Irish heritage. I've spent years of my life going back and forth in between America and Asia, really understanding and connecting with my roots in the Philippines. I've also visited Croatia and I've made trips back east with my grandmother, who's from Connecticut, but her heritage is from Ireland. We've even gone to Ireland together. The results can show you traits like which side of the family you got your red hair from, or even preference for sweet or salty food foods inherited by either grandparent. So, Nana, I want to 
to show you something really exciting that I got in the mail. It's a DNA test to collect your DNA from your saliva. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we send it back to a lab and it analyzes the 23 pairs of chromosomes that I have in my body. It won't give me the results for six to eight weeks, but when I do get them, I'll be able to see a certain percentage of my bloodline. Mm -hmm. So, this is really interesting for our family because I am a mutt, as they call it. <laughs> my grandmother is Irish, my grandfather is Croatian. Irish, as we know. Grandpa over there, Croatian, as we know. My mother is Filipino, and my dad, a mix of both of them. A really easy process. Actually, I don't know if we'll be able to distinguish between, you know, really dad's side and you guys versus mom, because since the Spanish colonized the Philippines, we could go back all the way to Europe, maybe even to Northern Europe, and it could be a part of mom's bloodline, but we don't know that. Well, with <clears throat> my friends, it just gave them the percentages of, you are so such a percentage of Irish, such a percentage of, you know, whatever the lineage mm -hmm. is. There were a few surprises. <laughs> I want to be surprised. Okay. If you and your grandparent take 23andMe, you can trace how you inherited specific genes from either side. Looks like there is a tube that I have to fill with my saliva. Do you know your bloodline for sure? If your parents were 100% Irish? Yes, on my mother's side, her mother and father came from Ireland. I'm not sure what year they came over. I can't find them in Ellis Island. Were they potato famine immigrants? That's what I don't know. Grandpa, do you know if you're 100% Croatian? Are you for sure? I think so, but I'm not really totally sure because my grandparents were Austrian citizens and they immigrated here from Hamburg, Germany on, on the ship named Bremen. It was a German ship. They had Austrian passports. That would be a surprise if I had Austrian in my bloodline. Okay, so I couldn't spit in the tube then because you cannot have either eaten or drank 30 minutes prior to spitting in this test tube. So I'm gonna do it right now. Let's get started. We'll try to make it so this isn't gross. Oh my gosh, Sophie, I need way more spit than this. They want me to spit. Mm -hmm. I've done it. You have? I do. I have a sister, remember? <laughs> okay, my best friend Sophie has like the greatest customer story from this product. You are a prime example of why people need to do this or not. Yeah. It's like, if you don't want to find out surprises, maybe it's not a good idea. But Sophie, on the other hand, yeah, yeah. come over here. <clears throat> Tell us about your story, Sophie. I have a half-sister, so I grew up an only child. One day, my cousin decided to do 23andMe. Once you do it, your DNA is in the system, so if anyone else who does it is related to you, you see that. He got an email one day from someone saying that they are first cousins, and she was adopted at birth, grew up in New York, and her, birth, her biological father father's name is Richard Edelman and that's my father's name. Long story short, my dad had another daughter. We didn't know about her. None of us knew. And then we met her in January. So yeah, she's great. Hey Rachel, you're probably watching this. <laughs> and are you done spitting? No, this is really hard. I need a lot of spit for this. Okay. Prime example of finding out you have siblings. Yeah, it was somewhere. a little weird. It was a little weird, but it's cool. She's awesome. She's great, and we all love her, and she's definitely yeah, she's part cool. of my family. We now. hung out with her a month ago. What's definitely. up, Rachel? We hope you see this. I'm doing it. Oh my god, I hope. Okay, that'd be really weird if we found out that I had siblings that I didn't know of. It'd be like surprise of. That would not be good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about it. Yeah, I don't know about this test tube. I'm just kidding. I'm still gonna do it. We'll find out. Putting the test tube into the bag. This is the cool thing about this DNA test is it tells us a lot about ourselves and our families. So if you and your families all did it, you guys can all share your information together and you can kind of get a clearer picture of where you come from. All right, I'm actually really excited to receive my results. If you're interested in knowing more of these personal DNA stories like Sophie's, you can go check out 23andMe.com. Use my code 23andme.com slash Haley. They have crazy customer stories, but you just heard a crazy customer story. She found her half sibling that she had no idea was living after 26 years. Leave a comment below if you guys have done this. Let me know what your results were and if you had any surprises. If you try it out, have a good time. I might be back following up with my results in one to two months, so we'll see. Will! Will! I got my DNA test results back! They're right here. 
Mongolian? I knew we were victims of Davis Bond, dude! <laughs> Damn, we're world conquerors! What?